Four players and anyone who will come back. It's probably because COVID did that for some people when they had to find work outside of football industry. It lets you think grass is greener on other side, but it's not. We're pretty privileged to be a part of this game. Thomas, who played three games in the VFL, was available for an AFL selection last week. But North's match committee decided he needed another game at a lower level to improve his fitness and understand Alistair Clarkson and Rat 10's game plan. It tough conditions in the VFL game last week, pretty wet and it hard to hold your feet, but the second half good, going really well, he said. Where does this fit the match committee group? Is it ready to go? Does it qualify to perform at the AFL level? The Cats don't focus on fall John Pirate Geelong may have been injured, but the Cats couldn't have picked a better competitor than the Western Bulldogs to rekindle their Saturday night season, if history is any guide. Keep it up star Bulldog Marcus Bontempelli didn't do much against the Cats during his time at the club. The Cats have dropped to 10th in the standings after their second three-game losing streak of the season. The fact that retired great Joel Selwood suffered only three losses in his great career underlined what a difficult campaign this has been for Prime Ministers. That could change quickly, however, and the Cats are now facing an opponent who has undoubtedly won five of their last six games, despite being relegated to the Gold Coast late in Darwin last weekend. History says Cats should start with confidence, as they have only lost twice in 11 games against the Bulldogs since Luke Beveridge took over Dogs in 2015. It's still really positive about the season to put some things in place to fix that, said Cats forward Tom Hawkins. Their Bulldogs are a huge threat in midfield, both in terms of staff and experience. So, that's another big challenge for our group there, but also in front of the ball, how position and how we continue to be consistent with what give them and behind the ball is ours. It's big challenge for him as well. Coach Chris Scott said Friday that he doesn't consider the Cats need to continue into the top four or loss on Saturday could put them three games behind fourth place and its significance over deep final run. As soon as you start playing the game thinking if this doesn't work out this week, we're in trouble. I think it's the mentality of a loser and that's not us," Scott said. I think it's up to everyone else to worry about us, in terms of how we look at our best and focus on getting there. So, if we lose this week, I understand disgrace of others, but I won't believe it. The last time teams met in 20th round at GMHBA Stadium last year, Cats won by 28 points, but their previous three wins were only 13. 5 and 11 points respectively. Their win was at Marvel Stadium in round 16 of 2019. The challenge for the sixth-placed Bulldogs is to demo.